Just working with that, working with the fact that this, this, this the Ray movie was so big and Jamie was so big from the Ray movie and people really realizing this man had that gifted voice like that. And so my, so I had a, a relationship with him already from Slow Jams. She says she wants some Marvin Gaye, some Luther Vandross, a little Anita, but definitely set this yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me. Anyway, man, like, you one of those guys, I, I really can't get away from the fact of all of these Grammys, man, and all these options. I seen you, you know, I seen when Nick Cannon and you was talking, that's out there. A lot of levels and layers to that, and that's why I think I get to write for so many artists, you know. I mean, we worked on a song before. Absolutely. Worked work with Kanye, working with Rock. You know, different things, man. Mm -hmm. Like, like, how did it feel to, to receive your first Grammy? I don't know. I don't. I don't know if I had you didn't enjoy, did you? the understanding. I didn't have an understanding of what that meant. Yeah, because that was not something that that was aspirational in my city. You know, that was something for them other niggas. You know what I'm saying? We keep it real over here, type bullshit. Not understanding this is an entertainment game. You know, not understanding <laughs> that this is entertainment, nigga. Like we like, we gotta keep it real. We gotta be authentic. You know what I'm saying? We can't fuck with nothing, and we not understanding that we, we've been growing up looking at motherfucking uh, James Bond, who not a real person. The actor is a real person, but James Bond, not a real oh, yeah. mm -mm. And we going through the ups and downs with James Bond. He in space, he getting shot up, he got a bad bitch. He driving a car in the water. This entertainment, we living and dying with this motherfucker, it's entertainment. That's real. They getting <laughs> billionaire rich and we sitting here trying to sell some dope. Yeah. So we can take care of everybody. Yeah. Not smart. Yeah, but. So I didn't understand Grammys. And maybe was a little bit embarrassed to have one. Wow. Maybe a wow. little bit embarrassed. Yeah, maybe a little bit embarrassed. Made me feel like I maybe um, had had gone cheap, Hollywood. Cheapened myself in some yeah. way. Yeah. More, you know, uh, smoke mirrors, cardboard, plastic, water, and lights than it was concrete. You know, base level, foundational me. What was the first? What was that song that got you that Grammy? Uh, that was. Um, I think all of the lights, maybe no, yeah. I don't know. I can't remember the first. Maybe it was all the lights. All of the lights. Turn up the lights in here, baby. Extra bright on. Or maybe it was a uh, crack music, maybe. That's that crack music, nigga. That real black music, nigga. Wow. Maybe it's crack music, yeah. I think it was crack music. <laughs> so I, many Grammys. I yeah, yeah. Which well, one. It's, it's not all right, you know, like, like I, I was just looking at it. You got forty, you know, platinum, you know, songs. You know, yeah. you know. Yeah. I, I interviewed Mr. Lee. He got thirty some, maybe forty himself. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. like it's like you guys are. are that's crazy. Really come down. That's what I'm saying. I, I deal with some people who I thank God for you guys, man, because that's culture. It's, Thanks, it's culture. Boss. No, for real. You know what I'm saying? So, but and without it, you know what I'm saying? These good moments, these moments we enjoy. I mean, you talk a lot about these moments. A lot of time music, music most of the time stimulates a lot of these enjoyable moments, man. Mm -hmm. So I want to say thank you, you know. Thank Boss you. Talk gotta thank you, you know what I'm saying? You but, got a favorite, bro? Yeah, you gotta ask that. You got a favorite song, bro? I mean, it's story, right? It's layered. There, there's a, a whole bunch of variables involved in that. The favorite song, I felt the most vindication from all the lights. Yeah. Because I fought really hard for that. But also, I fought very hard for Gold Digger. Uh. Now, I ain't saying she a gold digger. But she ain't messing with no broke. Mm. To be the single. Also, fought very hard for Good Life. Like we always do with this time. I go for mine. I get to shine. Now, throw your hands up. And to be the hold single. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Go back. Yeah, you, know, you know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. I want you to go back to all of the life. Just give me. <laughs> You're not gonna just t say these songs. On yeah, yeah, yeah. These are the you got to give me ever. some details on how you even end up producing that and how you even, you know, give us the details in order for our people, our <laughs> listeners to understand how they came about. That's the history. My production on All The Lights was, you know, honestly, you know, me trying to make the song um, viable enough for Kanye to like it, for the album and to maybe be the single. That song was one of my favorites, though. Yeah, so that one right there, I feel the most connected to because there was a lot of fights. In okay. 
I had Elton John sitting next to me like you sitting next to me, playing keys and trying to come up with melodies and trying to come up with shit. And my biggest production on that was not just working with Elton John on the keyboards and Jeff. Another name we're just dropping, just. Elton yeah, just, John's big, man. Yeah, yeah no, but, he but big. how do you just have Elton John in your studio? Well, Elton John no, came, no, ain't nothing Elton to play John with. came with um, Mr. Hudson, who Kanye signed, who wound up doing a song with me called Here She Comes Again. Here she comes again. Here she comes again. And he also wound up doing Forever Young with Hope. So while he was in the States, he did a bunch of songs. I never knew that. That's yeah, old, he was man. in the yeah, studio. Yeah, forever young. That's, old, that's my, still my man to this day. You know, I'm, I'm kind of, I got like a lot of clout in London. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And um, so, but really, I think my biggest contribution to all the lights outside of, you know, writing and stuff like that was what I took away from the song. Okay. That's also production it? for everybody out there just to know. Production is also what you take away. What you take away. I, I agree with that. that. So I took away the Muhammad Ali sample. That Kanye had in there. Mm. The champ is here. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, I'm a Muslim from Chicago. Grew up idolizing Muhammad Ali. Of course. Of course. You know, my, my, my DJ partner, um, you know, Mustafa Rocks, is on the front page of the paper for punching Muhammad Ali in the nose when he was Man. a little bitty boy. Man. Muhammad Ali like this, and he punching him in yeah, the that's, nose. Yeah, that's love. So we, you know, all black people. He's the most famous person in the world for a very long time. So we took that sample out and it it hurt to take the sample of Muhammad Ali's voice out. Cause I had the opportunity to meet him several times and even in my adult life to meet him. Man. And to meet his daughter. And That's you know, we was at the Beverly Hilton Hotel having breakfast and um, taking that sample out because it was a part of my life that felt like there was in that sample. The champ is here, boom, 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 boom. So I was trying to write the I was trying to write the hook around that sample. You know, so I'm saying a bunch of stuff. Was you in the wind? Yeah. Yeah, it's just wind. Go ahead. Um, so I'm trying to write around that sample and it's not working. And I can't master it. I can't hit it. I got some cold shit. People are like, that's cold. But it wasn't what it needed to be. And I, the spirit let me know that's not it's not there yet. Yeah. All this makes sense. You know, the champ is here, the champ is here, the champ is here, the champ is there. All that shit was cool, but that wasn't what the song needed to be. So Understanding that, I had the engineer, Andrew, remove the sample. Okay. Though it hurt, it was painful to me, it also opened the song up and let me have a different train of thought. So that's how we got to the, to the, um, all the lights, all the lights. Let's go to the next but the horns, But the horns was probably like, the horns was there because it was called Ghetto University. The song was called Ghetto University. Yeah. And then when I came with the all of the lights. But that kind of has that kind of has like a rocky feel to it. Yes, though. it does. Like <laughs> triumphant. That's what I'm saying. I was trying to. I was going to the directly. I was too on. I was too on the nose of triumph and fighting and what the champion is. And we already had a song. Did you realize you are a champion in their eyes? Yes, yeah, I yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I picked it up and brought it back to the crib. Yeah, right, right, so right. So we had that song already, and I'm trying to make another one. Okay. We, that wasn't what the Spirit wanted. The spirit wanted that, all the lights. Well, the you next know? one you had mentioned was. That's crazy, though. What was the next one you mentioned? Gold I said, Digger. Gold Digger. I said Gold, gold Digger. Gold Digger was a big one, man. Yeah, it was a big one. It was a big one for, for Kanye in my yes, eyes. Yes, it, it was. It, it was it huge. Helped. It helped. She ain't looking for no what? 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 Uh, she me mine. Now I ain't saying she a Gold Digger. With no broke. Yeah, they was on it. <laughs> and, and Jamie, that I believe that pretty much pulled him out of a shell. No that question. opened up everything for him. No as question. Well. Without um, a doubt, a contradiction. Like, like, so how was it even coming up with that? You know, and playing your part in that. Yeah, just situation. working with that. Working with the fact that this, 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 the Ray movie was so big, and Jamie was so big from the Ray movie, and people really realizing this man had that gifted voice like that. And so my, so I was having a, a relationship with him already from Slow Jams. She said she wants some Marvin Gaye, some Luther Vandross, a little Anita, but definitely set this. So yeah. Get, yeah, we had the relationship. So sure we was, was, sure we was. We was with Jamie, and then my, one, one of the Stones from Chicago, Tayshawn Barrett. His daddy is Reverend T. L. Barrett. That we got later on got a song from the Father Stretch sample wow. come from him. 
And me and, T- me and Tishon, we close brothers. We've been in plays together and all that shit. So he was living with Jamie. Mm-hmm. Him and all them niggas, they was living over there doing comedy, acting, tele- uh, commercials and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Jamie was the was our man, okay. you know, and Brandy as well. People don't understand our relationship with Brandy early on. We'd be at her house almost every day. Crazy. She would cook food. That's when she was married to do. Yeah, yeah. She would cook food and shit. So all these relationships in 2002, 2003 were were formulating, right? And that's how we got that that slow jams. Yeah, she yeah. Wants some money. Okay. Oh my God! So Luther Vandross, yeah. Little Lunita will definitely set the party up right. <laughs> that thing, was, that album is, that album is man. playing. Man, I'm gonna have to play this all night now, bro. I'm <laughs> stuck. So Luther Vandross, a little Lunita will definitely set this party up right. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see.